my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising and venus how are you doing aquarius want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours hope you guys are ready are you guys uh ready for christmas are you guys ready did you guys already start shopping is the real question here or are you like me and you wait till last minute <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021? What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021. All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading, my lovelies. One more shuffle. And it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Okay. First card. We have the Devil card. Ooh, interesting. This is definitely Saturn's energy here, Aquarius. As you guys know, it is in alignment in your sign. Um, what they're saying here is, I feel you guys coming into your own. This could be embracing embracing certain aspects of yourself or perhaps sh the, the shadow side of yourself things that you've either tried to ignore or tried to suppress in the past finally being able to accept and this is in connection not just with you and who you are but past experiences this is fully embracing yourself to who you truly are aquarius and it's almost in a, in essence, fully accepting and knowing your power. Because with accepting ourselves and who we are, and even those parts of ourselves that we are either shy or embarrassed about, or we suppress or we try to hide, when there's power behind that. When you're able to accept that, to accept your, you know, accept and learn to love your virtues as well as your flaws you are powerful my dear and the devil card is a representation of exactly that for some of you guys you're going through a transition where you're releasing yourself from some type of toxic energy or toxic people this could even indicate um the release or the letting go of toxic traits and behaviors about yourself very powerful energy here, Aquarius. Your next card here is the Hanged Man. So this is definitely letting go of toxic traits, toxic behaviors, what no longer serves you, being able to see things from a very different perspective. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going through this process of elimination, the understanding those that are in your inner circle, those that are great to you that are good to you that are genuine and authentic and those that are not those that create drama those that bring balance and peace and harmony and this is you detaching yourself from that because you're being able to fully see people for who they truly are and choosing not to no longer sacrifice your peace of mind to make other people comfortable the hanged one also is a representation of being able to let go of toxic traits about ourselves, toxic traits, toxic behaviors, whether it's some type of substance abuse here. It doesn't necessarily have to be substance abuse. It could be uh, being addicted to sex, being addicted to um, casual uh, encounters, uh, anything that has to do with the mundane, really. And being able to see things from a very different perspective or changing your mind about what you want and what direction in life you want to go towards now, moving forward. So beautiful, powerful energy here, Aquarius. Yep, exactly what I was seeing. We have, okay, so you guys, definitely going through a major transformation here. We have the death card. The three cards we pulled out are major arcana. So this is directly in connection with the planet alignments that we're currently going through. There is the Saturn energy which is that of the hard work and determination. Right now, you probably feel like you're going above and beyond to just catch up with work. And this is 
Saturn's energy. Yes, you have to bust your ass in order to be able to see full manifestations of it. But I guarantee you that if you continuously keep putting effort and energy, you will get to the point of feeling successful or getting to the point of feeling like there is a completion here and being able to reap what you've been sowing all this time. The death card always speaks about transformation. Keep in mind that we are currently in this weird planet alignment where we're going to be, or the nodes, the south and north node are going to be empowered because they're being in alignment. Um, there is a lot of transformation that's going on and know and understand Aquarius that from now all the way till next year, 2022, a lot of the things that are unfolding in your life are not coincidental. It is in direct connection with the release of karma and being able to fully go into the next cycle of your life with a very different outlook and more in tune with your purpose, more in alignment with the mission that you came to do here in life. Your next card here is the Ace of Swords. So there is a transformation that's happening, a transformation where you're realizing toxic people, toxic traits, toxic behavior within ourselves, and you're deciding to let go of that or finally release yourself. You are experiencing a lot of spiritual downloads. For some of you guys, your intuition is at 100%. You're going to be experiencing in the next couple of weeks a lot of lucid dreams, a lot of spiritual downloads. This is your spirit guides. This is your guides guiding you, showing you the way or giving you information and communication about things that they're wanting to prepare you for. This is on a grander scale, you guys. This is like transformative energy where you are able to see your life from now all the way till next year and see like it's done a complete 180. Your next card here is the Seeker of Wands. So it's guidance, spiritual download, inspiration for a lot of you guys. This is like finding your calling for others of you. Uh, this is no longer sitting on the sidelines. As an example, if you've been debating, should I go back to school? I've been doing it, or I've been in this field, in this career for many years. Um, and you're very proficient at it and you're very great at it, but you feel like you're just not being challenged enough, now is the time to do so. Why? Because there's a major shift. It's like you are going up the ladder in career, in finances. You're also uh, being able to fully heal those parts of yourself that you've been carrying. All the hurt, all the pain, all the difficulties that you've experienced in life. There is a almost transmutation of energy that's happening where not only are you healing, but you're able to see fully and concisely the type of life or where you're going when we're talking about the type of life that you want to have or that you know you deserve. The next card here is the Ace of Coins. So again, it is that uh, taking it to the next level. The Ace of Swords is information, but it also indicates mastery of something. With the Ace of Coins, the mastery of being able to go up the ladder in your career, in your finances, in your profession. This is about knowing what you deserve. This is also pushing yourself to the limit, to being able to gather more knowledge, to be able to become more of an asset to what you're doing right now at this point in time. The Two of Cups, emotional fulfillment, a connection. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Pisces, Scorpio, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like yourself. Um, not like yourself, sorry. <laughs> I said like yourself. Um, I also see fire energy here, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. Um doesn't have to be their moon sign. It could be their uh, sun, moon, or rising. But ultimately, what they're telling you is there is a transformation that's happening. Now, to be more exact and more, more precise, for those of you guys that have been single for a while, 
and you grew comfortable with being single. The devil card is that of understanding that that's become a toxic trait because you have a tendency of pushing people away because you want to be in a comfortable position. The hanged one is no longer sacrificing your happiness, no longer being in the sidelines. It's embracing the death, right? Embracing the new beginning, the ending that comes with and brings new beginnings. The ace of swords is being inspired this is your crown chakra opening up, having spiritual downloads, feeling, maybe intuitively you're picking up, that something is about to happen, that something is coming towards you, you just don't know how to put your finger on it, or you don't know exactly what it is. Well, my lovelies, for some of you guys, it is a union, it is a partnership, it is a relationship. You've done the work, and you've elevated yourself. For others of you, it's that position you've been wanting to get for quite a while, it's the one where you've been busting your ass and finally being able to see the results of that hard labor. And finally, the sun. Blessings that are being bestowed. This is beautiful reading, Aquarius. There is a major shift that's happening with the sun. It is illumination. It is a relationship that's coming towards you that you have been on this path of self-knowledge and growing. And being able to fully embrace this partnership, this divine connection, and I do say divine, because we do have death here, we do have the devil here, we do have the hanged one, uh, which is sacrificing through um, elevation, an elevation that is occurring within you. The sun, it is also blessings that are being bestowed upon you that you don't see coming. So again, you are on the right path, Aquarius, continue that focus, continue that determination. There is nothing that you cannot overcome if you put your heart and mind into it. I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.